my mind with some metaphysical fire breathing conversation. When I stroke your energy, I feel elated. No, no, it drives me crazy. Hi, you all. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. And today I'm here with an Amazon unboxing. And this is a garden theme unboxing. As you can see, I am a plant mom. Follow me on Instagram at Manifest by Destiny, and you'll see a lot more of my plant mom experiences. So before we get into the unboxing, as you know, I am an Amazon associate, so all of the available links to these products will be down below. I do receive a small commission whenever you shop through my links or my Amazon storefront. All links, like I said, will be down below in the description box. Now let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. So yeah, I shopped at Base Roots on Amazon. From what I remember, they're a company that just sells garden accessories like planters, hanging planters, um, vases, vases, all that type of things for flowers, gardens, plants. So I actually made a purchase. I got two planters. As you can see, it just comes, it came in an Amazon box, but the planters do come in their own individual boxes so on top they have like a foam layer and then on top of that foam layer the first thing you see is kind of like a thank you note rooting for you you've got this i think it it's a sticker yeah it's a sticker and then on the back of course it says the thank you for supporting a woman-owned small business so i'm shopping with my people as i said they're planters and as you can see, look at them, they're like the color of my skin. So they come, oh, rings. They come inside of the foam to protect them. So they're not broken, they're in perfect condition. And then here we have the bottom half. Isn't that so cute? The other planters, I want to say probably, because my hand's six, so this is probably like four or three inches. And then it has a little foam stickies, so you don't break your glass. Oh wow, and the bottom, it's actually stopped, so you can remove it when you want to actually drain it. Now back to my face. So yeah, here's the two planters that I got from Base Roots. I have the top planter and the bottom planter. So yeah, it's called the Walnut, Walnut. <laughs> it's called the Walnut Top Body Vase or Planter. And then this one is the walnut brown bottom body vase or planter. And I believe they were $20 each. I'll show the actual listing from Amazon with the pricing and all, but I believe they were $19 each, $19.99 when I purchased them. Oh wait, no, I'm lying. I remember now. When I purchase these, they're usually $20 a piece, but I got them in a combo deal for like 30, less than $35 or something. So when you buy them together, I think it saves you like $6. So let's do a close up of the actual planters. I just think it's so cute how they can like be placed on top of each other. <laughs> that's so cute but yeah let's talk about some of the styling things that you can do with these planters of course you can display your flowers your plants your succulents you can use them on top of your desk to hold your pins or your supplies you can also use them in the kitchen area for small fruits or snacks so like little candies this make a cute candy dish in the bathroom for organization q-tips makeup brushes anywhere in your home where you want to store everyday items and on top of your bookcase or your shelf just as a decorative vase which i'm thinking that i might do that i might um use this as a decorative little space holder in my garden or makeup brushes or for trailing planters also on this thank you it says kindly take a moment to share your thoughts by leaving a review and uploading your decor photo a little goes a long way appreciate your time on this sign up for 20 percent off of your next order if you scan the code on your camera or visit basefruitshop.com promo, tag at baseroots, hashtag baseroots to be featured, come say hello at baseroots shops.com. Okay. 
So of course, because I am a micro influencer, I will be taking advantage of that. And as an Amazon associate, you know, I have all the links below, as I said in the beginning of the video. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my review so you know it's real. I wanna show y'all my outfit, it's so cute. The top is from Hot Topic and the pants are from Walmart. Okay, you guys, I'm watching this back as I'm editing and I must say, biker shorts are just my thing for the summer. If you see me out in public, I'll be wearing biker shorts. As always, it's me, Destiny, of Manifest by Destiny. Until next time, bye everyone. Okay, so I'm here in the garden. I'm gonna turn the humidifier off. Hopefully you can hear me because I don't have a microphone on right now. I just wanted to show you all how I would style the planters. What does it say plants? How I would style the planters. I have these two ivies. I've had them for a couple months now. Yeah. Like I was saying have these two ivies. I think one is like a California something ivy. It looks like it's doing good, but I can see it's starting to dry out, even the new growth. And it was at this moment, I knew something was wrong. Hmm, maybe too much sun and too yellowing. So I'm thinking that now that it's getting hotter, it's getting too much sun on this little hanging plate planter thing right here. Yeah, if you didn't know, I'm a plant mom, and like I said in the beginning of the video, usually you could see this on Instagram, but I'm gonna definitely bring it more here, because why not? Mom. And then I have this little Helix or Hendrix Ivy, something like that. I think it's Helix, Hendrix, Helix, or Herman Variegated Ivy. It has lots of um light variegation or it did and now I'm seeing that this is getting darker so I'm thinking I'm definitely giving it too much sun right here I'm probably gonna put it up on this shelf which I had <laughs> vlog style review I guess I had this weeping no oh yeah they call this a wandering blank but I'm not gonna call it that because I feel like that is totally like and I looked it up and it was definitely like reason behind why they call this this plant the wandering blank other appropriate names include wandering spiderwort variegated spiderwort or my favorite wandering dude it's real name is like it starts with a t it's green and purple i had it up over there next to that neon potos but i think it was getting too much sun at least my boyfriend said you're gonna burn it and it does look very sad like i noticed when i took a picture of it on my instagram it just looks so sad so yeah I'm gonna use these two to put off on a tangent, bring it back, Destiny. I'm gonna use these two to put inside of those two planters that I just reviewed. Um, I was gonna go ahead and bring out the, the um, new soil that I bought and actually plant them inside of there, but I'm, I don't really like planting plants inside of decorative pots. I like to put um, I have to be careful when I do this because sometimes I have to break the plant. Oh, there's bugs on this. Okay, so I have to treat this. So maybe now I'm gonna show you all what I treat my plants with. Gosh, I've been holding this and there's bugs in it. I feel like now I need to turn this light on since this is becoming more intense. Um, BRB. Was I not recording the whole time? I don't know. Anyway, I sprayed it already. I just sprayed down into the pot. I think I was recording for like 10 minutes and I didn't hit record, so. You spritz, gives a spray or it gives a stream if you have like a large plant and you wanna get down in the dirt. But yeah, I sprayed there, sprayed under the pot in the bottom, I put it back down and these I'm gonna actually quarantine over here, like by themselves. See, it's like dripping. That's okay, cause it's organic, y'all, it's okay. But you see how like all that new growth is dried out? I'm like, what's wrong with you? I thought it was the sun. It could be the sun and it could be the pest. So who knows? Do I have something? I have something in my eyebrow. Great. But I was, I did just eat lunch too. So I probably have some on my teeth. Sorry. <laughs> so this is, these are the plants. I'm not sure if I want to put them into new planters. I feel like I'm just gonna um, 
put these over here, set these aside. Hmm. And there's a bug in here that's been in here since last night and it's over at the window. Life of a parent. Parent. Life of a plant parent. I have to make that clear. I wonder if that would kill it, that bug spray. Hmm. Might as well take my chances, right? I keep forgetting to hit record. But yeah, I put the planters. I paired them with some of my plants. A Dracaena. I love Dracaena. I've noticed I have tons of Dracaena. Comment below if you'd like a plant um, garden tour. I'm still having the itchies. So yeah, they look cute. Right? Like I said, I like to put the little planters in there. So you see how it looks if you put um, the planter in there and it does have the air at the bottom. So I think that's good to give the roots oxygen. I don't know if that's true, but for some reason, like I've always had the thought that is like, if the planter fits too snugly into the, um, <laughs> if the pot fits too snugly into the planter and there's no way to get air in the bottom, it's going to like suffocate the the plant. Yeah. So here's what they're looking like. And I'm gonna go do some B-rolls and then that'll be the end of the video. They're all by yourself. All by yourself. Looking good. Look at that. Lamp came apart, you guys. Emergency. Is it too heavy? Is that what you're saying? Like, what's going on here? Plant parent hack number one use your old shower clips to hang your planters. See? Well, see? Really cute. And resourceful. Yes, I'm gonna scoop. Like, it's just too much. As always, it's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. Thanks for watching. See you next time.